Hello, and thank you for joining us for this interview between Dr. Costa and Linda Moss. The goal of the patient journey is to capture and understand the experiences of those who have been impacted by wounds. When Linda shares her story, you will learn about her experiences as a daughter whose father suffered from a severe pressure ulcer after being hospitalized. If you would like to learn more or participate in this project, please reach out to one of the emails listed below. Um, now we talk about message to families, message to healthcare providers. I want you to leave a message for the government, mm -hmm. for the policy makers, yeah. for those that can, the high level. And what, what do you think your story can teach them and how they can get your story and make changes? What do you want to see for the future? I wrote you have all this the power. Down. You have the power now, but the power is with you. <laughs> yeah, no, I wrote all this down because this is why I speak. Because, you know, I do this for many different reasons. I do this because, one, I don't want another family member to go through this. Um, two, our story, we have a story to tell, and it was a pretty big one. Um, and there needs to be change happening at high level at government. Um, so the reason why I wrote this down is because each long-term facility um, needs to have a wound care specialist or some kind of a team member that's on board. At hospital too, they now have a specialist or a team on board. So that happens because of our dad's story. So they didn't have one before. It was more of a consultant that would come in, um, but she was not on site. So protocols and procedures need to change at every hospital. Um, like I talked about, there's, it was a different plan at each hospital and it needs to be consistent. Um, I think that's really important. But not only that, I think new technology needs to happen at these, at these care facilities. When I watched the, the nurses try to turn, and, and with wound care, you need to turn them every two hours, but the way that they're doing it, I think is archaic, to be honest. You need two nurses to turn a body. It's not always easy to get another, to flag down another nurse to come help you to do it. And that's where the family members can come into play too, because they can help the nurses. But then you're propping up pillows. And so you need six or eight pillows or whatever, maybe four, I don't know, like to prop up the patient so they're off the wound. So there needs to be some kind of technology not only to monitor the wound and to help it get better, but to keep off of that wound because each facility did things differently. One hospital had them on an incline, another hospital had them lying flat. So where, you know what I mean? Like it just was inconsistent. So wound, after our story hit, there was millions of views. That pressure ulcer went viral. And what does that tell you? It tells you that many people are going through the same thing that we went through. Maybe not as severe, but pressure ulcers are not going away. And it is a major, major issue. And it needs to be on the forefront of any medical facility and long-term care facility because people are dying and it's preventable. Mm -hmm. So that's what I want to say. Mm -hmm.